Are you ready to start making tons of money in the stock market? Well then this video is perfect for you. Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cody and I am so excited to return with another personal finance video for you this week. And today's video is going to be super interesting. Over the last year, I was able to make various investments that grew and grew. And by the end of 2021, my investments had gained more than $10,000. In this video, I'm gonna cover all the different investing strategies that I use to do this. And I promise you, all of them are super simple and anyone could do them, even if you don't know that much about finance or investing to begin with. But before we get into it, please just do me a huge favor by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Every little bit helps and I really appreciate the support. Thanks again and let's get right into today's topic. Everyone has heard stories of people hitting it big in the stock market. Whether it's people who invested in Apple back when it was still a tiny company, or people who invested in Tesla in the beginning and held on ever since. The investing world is full of people who have made smart or lucky investments and made tons of money. Now, you might think that these people are investing professionals that have been trained for years and years and know how to pick the best stocks, but I promise you this isn't the case. Normal, everyday people who have picked up investing just as a hobby have made enough money to transform their lives. And there's never been a better time to do this than right now. The internet has allowed people to trade stocks and cryptocurrencies from their laptops and phones anywhere in the world, and most brokerages now offer fee-free investing. On top of that, the pandemic has made the market a very volatile place with good, valuable companies plunging in value and presenting a perfect buying opportunity. I'm gonna guide you through the different strategies I used in this last year to make money from my investments and give you examples so you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna get into the absolute very best investing strategy later on in this video, but let's start out with a fun one. This first strategy is all about active investing. This is for people who enjoy actively finding new companies to research and invest in, something that I've always loved because I find it entertaining. The best part about this active strategy is that you can really tweak it in a lot of different ways to fit your preferences and your lifestyle. Let me give you a few examples. When the stock market crashes or otherwise enters a downturn, prices for all kinds of companies will drop. This presents the perfect opportunity to buy as much as possible, and this is our first strategy, buy at the dip. During downturns, hundreds of good, valuable companies will be selling for a significant discount, and if you have the cash on hand, you could go on a shopping spree. Then you just hold your stock picks until the market returns to normal, at which point you could sell them for a significant gain, or you can choose to hold them for the long term. I did this at several points throughout the pandemic, and one of the most recent times is when the Omicron variant sent the market spiraling downwards. The travel sector was among the hardest hit, and I decided to load up on airline and cruise stocks. They've already started to go up in value, and I plan to hold them for a long time. This is actually a strategy that I used at the start of the pandemic too. When the economy first shut down, the stock market took a deep dive. I loaded up on shares of Royal Caribbean, a cruise company, and held them for about a year until they had doubled in price and I was able to sell them for a gain of about $1,000. This was easy money that I was able to make without doing very much research, and I think anyone could follow this strategy. But here are a few extra tips to help you along the way. Firstly, you always wanna make sure that you have some spare cash at your disposal. No one can really predict when the market is gonna take a nosedive, so it's always important to have extra cash so you'll be ready for any situation. Having some spare change in a savings account will ensure that you always have enough money to go on a shopping spree when the time is right. Secondly, you might have noticed that I keep saying buy good companies. When I say this, I mean reputable companies like Coca-Cola, Apple, Tesla, and the like. Really any company in the S&P 500 is a good bet. I'm not saying you should bet all of your spare change on some random company that you've never heard of and you have no idea what they do. In most cases, you'll probably lose all of your money. Stock market crashes are the best time to buy valuable name brand companies because A, they're selling for a huge discount, and B, it's unlikely that they'll go bankrupt. This method isn't foolproof. Obviously, unforeseen things can happen and things can go wrong. But if you have some loose change and save it until the time is right, it could be a great opportunity to make some serious money. Now, there actually is a way to augment this strategy. At any given time, a number of good companies will probably be going through a rough stretch. Maybe they've had a few down years or a new product got rejected or they're going through a huge scandal. Whatever it is, 
is they're not being looked at as favorably as usual. When a stock market crash happens, this company is going to absolutely tank. It'll probably fall further than other companies due to recency bias, and it'll sell at an incredible once in a lifetime discount. These opportunities don't come around very often and this is your perfect chance to buy. To explain what I'm talking about, let me give you an example. Before the pandemic hit, aircraft manufacturer Boeing was going through a serious rough patch. Their brand new flagship plane, the 737 MAX, had just been involved in two high profile fatal accidents. The plane was grounded and Boeing was forced to pay a huge settlement. Their waiting orders for the 737 MAX were being canceled and on top of that the pandemic hit and put a pause on airline travel. Their stock price fell off a cliff going from about $340 to $95 in a matter of days. And that's when I decided to buy. I'd been watching them for a while and decided that they were probably a good company to invest in despite the recent bad press. Many of my friends and family told me not to do this, but I decided to go with my gut and it definitely paid off. The price climbed and climbed until I eventually sold it about eight months later for a $2,000 gain. This strategy is one of my most successful ones because it bets that people are being overly negative about good companies, but there are some considerable risks that come with it. A few bad years can sink a company, and if you bet a big chunk of money that they're going to rebound, you could lose it all if they go bankrupt. Just remember to exercise caution and never invest more than you're willing to lose. The next active strategy that I've used to make a ton of money is another really fun one. It involves scanning Twitter, TikTok and social media and talking to your friends and family to pick up on new trends. If you can identify which trends and products are going to blow up next, you could make a lot of money. I love this strategy because we as individual consumers have a unique power to do this. We're the ones shopping in supermarkets, going on social media and talking to our friends and family about what's new and exciting. Many large banks and investing companies are run by older generations and they're often out of touch with what is popular with our generation today. That gives us the ability to get out ahead of the investing curve before it blows up for certain companies. I have two examples to illustrate this point. After the market had started to rebound in the beginning of the pandemic, several different stock sectors started to really heat up. One of these was electric vehicles. I've always spent a lot of time on the Reddit thread r slash investing, where different people get together to exchange strategies and different companies to look at. And one of the companies that was really starting to bubble on Reddit was an electric vehicle company known as Workhorse. I decided to invest in it because they seemed to be popular and it seemed like they were on the cusp of getting a huge new contract. Just a few days after I bought in, the stock tripled in price. Something similar happened a few weeks ago when a friend tipped me off that Shiba Inu coin was gonna make some big moves. Just a few weeks later, it had skyrocketed and I sold it for five times my original investment. The point I'm trying to make here is that we as consumers have lots of individual power that banks and investing companies do not possess. If you start to observe some of the trends that are building around you by combing through social media and by listening to tips from your friends and family, you'll find several amazing opportunities and you'll be able to get in before they hit mainstream. The final active investing strategy that I use is pretty different from all the ones that we've talked about so far. If you do this strategy, you'll build yourself a money-making machine and you'll receive income from your investments every month. This strategy is, of course, dividend investing. This is an incredibly popular strategy, especially among retired people who want to live off of the income from their stocks without touching their original investments. A dividend is a sum of money paid regularly to shareholders by a company. The dividend is usually paid quarterly, so you'll receive it four times a year but some dividends are paid monthly. For example, Apple's dividend yield is 0.5% and their stock price is $175.08. 0.5% of this is 87 cents a year, divided over four quarters is 22 cents every three months. So you'll make 22 cents every three months for every Apple share that you own without having to do a single thing. You get paid this money simply for owning the stock. You might think that that doesn't sound like much, but that's just because Apple pays a pretty small dividend. Take a look at AT&T, for example. They pay 52 cents every quarter, or $2.08 every year for every single share of AT&T that you own. As you can see, these dividends can really start to add up. If you wanna use this strategy, 
I would say that you should first start looking at S&P 500 companies with medium to high dividends. Remember, we're not looking at tiny, unknown companies that might go bankrupt at any second. We want good, solid companies that pay high dividends like McDonald's and Haynes. The best of these companies are known as the S&P 500 Dividend Aristocrats. These 64 companies have increased their dividend in each of the past 25 consecutive years, so they're among the safest and most reliable for dividend investors. If you start building a portfolio of these guys, you'll earn guaranteed dividend income on top of the stocks already growing in value. It's a win-win and it's no wonder why dividend investing is such a popular strategy. And now it's finally time for the best investing strategy to ever exist. Not only is this strategy incredibly profitable, it's also the easiest one on my entire list. It's my longest used strategy, and it's the one that I recommend to everyone and plan to use for the rest of my life. I'm talking about index fund investing, specifically in a Roth IRA. If you open a Roth IRA, which is a special type of retirement investing account that allows you to grow your money and withdraw it tax-free at the age of 59 and a half. And if you buy an S&P 500 index fund like FXAIX in your Roth IRA, it will grow and grow over time until it eventually makes you a tax-free millionaire by the time you retire. This does take a long time, but there are several reasons why I think this is the absolute number one investing strategy and everyone should do it. First, it's literally so easy. All you do is open a Roth IRA, deposit $500 every month, and invest it into an index fund. It will literally only take you five minutes every month. Secondly, this strategy runs in the background. You don't need to constantly monitor your stock picks and buy and sell every day. You just invest one time a month and forget about it. Finally, this strategy is pretty much the most successful investing strategy ever devised. S&P 500 index funds have proven to be the best investing strategy for 99% of investors and if you start early enough, you can make yourself a million dollars. I like making lots of easy money, and this is the best strategy that exists to do so. Yes, it does take way longer to really start to see growth, but we're young and we have that time. Do yourself a favor and start investing in a Roth IRA and your future self will thank you. And that's all for today's video. I really enjoyed talking about some different investing strategies and methods that I use. If you have any questions or suggestions about new strategies, let me know down in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll see you guys again very soon.